This is question 11. Here we're told the diagram shows Diana's suitcase. We're told that the suitcase is in the shape of a cuboid and we're told that Diana has a walking stick that folds. The folded walking stick has a length of 60 centimetres. Then we're told that Diana wants to put the folded walking stick in the suitcase and we're asked will the folded walking stick fit in the suitcase. Now if we think about a walking stick or, or kind of any object that won't bend going into a suitcase we know that it's going to have to go in diagonally so we're looking to find is the distance from one corner of the cuboid to the complete opposite corner of the cuboid is that going to be 60 centimeters or more so in order to do this the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to think about how I could work this out and what I can recognize here is that perhaps what I could do is I could use Pythagoras. So I can see that I've got a right angled triangle there. So the diagonal going for along the bottom of the suitcase, this length here going up, and then obviously the distance going from that diagonal. So we've got a right angle there. Now, in order to work this out, what I can see is that I've only got one of the lengths on this right angle triangle that I've created. So I'm going to have to work out what this other length here is going to be. And so what I can actually do is I can use trigger, um, I can use Pythagoras for this as well. So I've got a right angle triangle on the base of this suitcase. So if I look at this, I've got a right angle triangle at the base here. So from that length there and then going across that length there. So on the floor of this suitcase I've got a right angle triangle and I'm just working out the diagonal of the base. So the diagonal of the base is going to be uh, so squaring 45, so 45 squared, um, then squaring 20, then adding them together because I'm trying to find the hypotenuse if you think about it um, think about the base of this, your right angle is going to be just there. So adding them together, um, and let's work that out, we're going to have uh, 45 squared plus 20 squared, and that's going to give us 2,045, uh, no, sorry, what was it? 2,425, so that gives us 2,425, and then I'm just going to square root. So square root of my answer is going to give me, uh, what's that going to give me? So 49.2442801. So what I now know is that this is, this length here is 49, and we'll just call it 49.2 for now. I'm not going to use that value. I'm going to use the value that's in my calculator so that I don't make any mistakes uh, with accuracy. But what I now know is that this length going along the floor of the suitcase is 49.2. So now I can use Pythagoras again to work out the length of the uh, from one corner of the suitcase to the diagonally opposite corner. Uh, so working this out, well I've got again I'm trying to find the hypotenuse. I've got this length on the floor, and then I've got my right angle, and I've got a length of 30 going up. So to work this out, I'm going to square 49.24, and again, I'm not going to use 49.2, I'm going to use this value that's in my calculator. So square in that, and then I'm going to add to that the square of 30. That gives me 3,325, and then I'm going to square root my answer. And that is going to give me 57 point, we'll call that 57.7. .7. So what I can say is that the length of this diagonal is going to be 57.7 uh, centimeters. So if we now come back to our original question, Will the folded walking stick fit in the suitcase? 
And our answer to that is going to be no. And the reason for that is because the folded walking stick is 60 and the length of the diagonal in that suitcase uh, is only 57.7. So no, uh, and, then and then we would just say that the length of the diagonal is 57.7 and we would write that down.